And tropical storm Colin dumping a lot of rain on the Sun Coast. Anna Maria Island is one of the places that has felt the biggest impact from this storm. ABC 7's Rick Adams begins our team coverage of the storm live from the island with the latest there. Rick. Yeah, Haley, it has been a big old mess out here all day long. These flooded roadways have made it very difficult for people just to get around. The rain just keeps on coming, and so does the flooding. Many streets on Anna Maria Island are underwater, all thanks to Tropical Storm Colin. Hopefully the sun will come out in a couple days, but uh, right now we're experiencing a lot of wind and rain and some uh, localized flooding. For people who live here or just visiting, they are braving the storm in their own way. It was business as usual for a lot of folks, like these workers who trudged through deep water to get the job done. It's, it's a lot harder but we get our job done regardless. The job has to go out like the mail people. Rain, sleep, and snow. This is the road right in front of the Holmes Beach City Hall. Right now, the water is about a foot deep. Authorities tell us it's going to get worse before it gets better. Holmes Beach Police Chief William Tokager says residents should play it safe on a day like today and stay home if they can and stay off the roads. If you don't have a true purpose and you don't need to go out and drive, don't go out and drive. There's no real reason for it if it's not an emergency. For folks who are here on vacation, they tell us riding out this storm is like taking in another attraction. This is pretty amazing. I've never seen anything like it. And folks around here are hopeful that there's some relief soon from all this rain and from all this flooding. Reporting live this evening from Holmes Beach, I'm Rick Adams.